Hey guys, so welcome, welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. Let's carry on where we left off. I think today we're going to spend some time at the daycare center, maybe follow up on that poor boy who is constantly neglected by his mother, as well as boost our social stats so we can hang out with some of our social links uh, and choose more appropriate options because <laughs> as it stands now, we're locked out of quite a few, which I think might hamper our ability to get closer to them. And well, time is of the essence. We only are spending a year in Inaba after all, so... Let's make sure we can uh, at least advance our social links wherever we can. It's the bus stop. You can work at the daycare center today because it's not raining. Let's go. Okay, kids, never fear. Your favorite babysitter is here. And you're just running circles around me. <laughs> Can't you just be like looking for bugs or something? You helped out at the daycare center. Oh, it's, um, it's Yuta. <laughs> I don't want to play house. Let's play hide and seek. You're it. You're not it during hide and seek, though. That's Tag. You're the seeker. Yuta's is full of energy, yet I think he's just run off to hide in the bushes somewhere. Once again, the children tug at you from all directions. Your understanding has increased. If you say so, because I'm still no closer to comprehending what the hell they're up to. So Kun, most of the children have been picked up, so you can go home now. What about Yuta? You said most of the children have been, have been picked up? I'll see you next time. You finished your job and went home. Alright, guess he's been picked up then, all good. You earn 5,000 yen from your daycare job. Not a bad haul. On the way home, on the Samagawa floodplain. That's, uh, Yuta's mother. And he's not with her, so... Does that mean she's forgotten to pick him up again? You see Yuta's mother sitting over there. Uh, hello? Excuse me. Oh, hello. Oh, you're... You're the caretaker I met the other day, right? I sure am, and your child is waiting for you. Oh, it's already this late? I've been sitting here all this time. <laughs> uh-huh. No wonder he, uh, doesn't seem too impressed by you. Is, um, is something on your mind? Oh, no. It's nothing. <laughs> You're a high school student, right? You seem so mature. I mean, yeah, I am a silver fox. Still a high school student, though. I was heading over there. I was going to pick up Yuta. But then something came over me. My legs just went weak all of a sudden. Every time I think about him. Yuta's mother sighs. Have you heard? Yuta and I aren't related by blood. I see. He's my husband's child. I've lived with Yuta for six months now. Uh-huh, and you still can't keep yourself to a schedule, huh? Only six months. Already six months? We don't ever talk to each other. My husband is away, so... <laughs> it's just the two of us, alone together, in a dark house. Hmm, well, I mean... I think you should really make more of an effort to, to communicate with Yuta. And that starts by, you know, picking him up on time so he's not left there by himself. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, you know, not being picked up on time and you're just left there by yourself. Yuta's a good kid. You may not be his real mother, and I understand that there might be some friction, a bit of rebellion, because, again, you're not his real mother, but still, uh, if you love your husband, you should definitely make an effort to take care and love his child as well. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to tell you all this out of the blue, but I'm glad you listened to me, that you spoke with me. Yeah, otherwise you would have just sat here absentmindedly for the next couple of hours. <laughs> it's sad. But these days, I don't even get to have simple conversations like this. Yuta's mother is smiling weakly. It seems she is trying her best to adapt to living in the countryside. Ah, oh, you're a city girl, huh? So, uh, hmm. Struggling to adapt like Yosuke and I, but... Like, you are the adult here, so... Hmm. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Yuta's mother. Oh? Ah, this is why I was encouraged to do the daycare job. We've got another social link! With Yuta's mother. Which one is this? I recognize it. I think it's the chest key cards. Thou art I and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the temperance arcana. Alright, well, we've got a lot to work with here with Yuta's mother. We're gonna have to educate her on how to look after her child. You have established the young mother social link of the temperance arcana. I'm gonna teach you how to be basically a big sis <laughs> to uh, your stepson. May earn a bonus XP when fusing Personas of the Temperance Arcana. 
I'm Ari Manami. Ari Manami. Well, Ms. Manami, I am Sowaku Sr. Nice to meet you. Please take good care of him. Uh, I should say the same to you. Oh, that's right. I still need to pick him up. It was nice seeing you. Nice to see you, too. I look forward to our further adventures. Welcome home! Thanks, Aniko. Well, it's time for me to walk the walk. Let's see. Yes, we can. Um... Yes? Aniko looks as if she's not doing anything. Since our principality, my relationship's not ready to advance yet. No! Nanako, you're making me having to reject you and breaking your heart every night. Why do you do this to me? We're going to need to do some more gardening then. But first, I should probably check out the town and see if there's anything worthwhile out there. Uh, creepy lady's still here. That's nice. What are you after? Another goldfish? I came to offer my food to celebrate my child's fifth birthday. But my children at home are hungry. I cannot go home without something to feed them. Do you have any Genji Ayu you could spare? As a matter of fact, I do. I caught an extra fish that one day I was hunting for a goldfish for you. Give it to her. So thank you very much. This is an expression of my thanks. Please, take this. Obtain Gyosen Stone. Alright, I'll take it. Hmm. I guess we just need to keep giving her fish. She does seem like a fishy lady. Alright, we got Yosuke up top. Uh, who else do we have hanging around town? Boss, let's go home. I can't drink anymore. <laughs> what are you saying? You're young. You'll never get promoted with that attitude. Come on, follow my example. I'm like a jungle cat when it comes to work, women, and whiskey. A goddamn lion. You're a lion, alright? A merlion? <laughs> I'm the one who always just clean up after you. I'm sick of it. <laughs> well, I hope they join AA by the end of this year. Oh, Yukiko's here, the Velvet Room, hanging around like normal. Adachi's here, Yumi's here. Okay, so not quite an improvement in terms of attack and hit percentage, but it gives us extra SP if we equip it on Chie. I might as well just grab it, because I can. Cool. Right, not that I'm going to eat anything, but let's just check the fridge anyway. Nothing catches your eye. That salami is gone. Or that slice of ham, I should say. All right, Nanako, come on. Let's get your gardening gloves on. The vegetables you planted should be ready for harvesting in about three days. Will you spend time maintaining the garden? Yes. I'll go see the veggies. Come on, I need to show Yuta's mother how I to actually they're ready yet. look after a child. Uh, they're not quite ready yet, but uh, with some time, they will be. And some extra work. Oh, look, big pro. I found a bug. My teacher said that a field with bugs will grow great veggies. Yeah, as long as they don't, you know, eat or ruin the plants, that should be fine. Those pesky pests. I hope that's true. You became closer to Nanako. You carefully tended the vegetables. Your diligence has increased. This should quicken the harvesting date. Excellent. Saturday the 28th, starting off with some rain. You overhear students talking. What have we got this time? Have you been watching that mail order show that's on TV every Sunday? I never miss it. Oh my god, I think I missed it last week. How terrible of me. Okay, I gotta make a moat to watch it tomorrow. The one on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. You really love those kinds of shows, don't you, Michi? I remember that you said you bought a really flashy, skimpy bathing suit last time. When are you ever going to wear it? Probably summer. <laughs> oh, I'll wear it when the time is right. Okay. If you say so, is there a beach around here? Otherwise, they're going to need to swim in that riverbank where I fish for goldfish. Classes have ended for today. You're waiting for Kanji to recover. Of course we are. All right, let's have a look around. Oh, there you are, doggo. I've been looking all over for you, trying to make sure you get back home so I can uh, level up the fox. It seems that the dog is still aware of you. What should you do? Uh, let's just, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Talk to it gently. It seems the dog became less wary of you. Good. The dog ran away. Damn it. You should look for it on another day. Maybe there's another option that accelerates how calm it gets, but for now, I think let's just stick with the tried and true. All right, uh, in terms of who we're gonna hang out with, let's have a look. We can't advance Yosuke. We can't advance Marie. GA, I'm your guy. Not to make you feel like you're plan C or anything, Yo! truly. It's just, you know, I've just got limited time to hang out with everyone. Yo, Sokun. What you doing? 
It seems Chie isn't busy. Since you have Slime, Persona of the Chariot Arcana, and our relationship's going closer soon, that's great. Will you spend the afternoon with Chie? Yes, let's do it. Then you want to train? Yeah, let's go! Chie looks happy. Samigawa Riverbank. You decided to train with Chie. Hmm. Phew. Let's call it a day. Uh-huh. It's Chie. What you doing? T Takeshi? Well, training. Uh, I'm working out. Huh? When are you going to graduate to being King of the Hill? That's not it! K king of the Hill? In kindergarten, it was the Runt Gang. In elementary school, you were an ally of justice. Middle school, it was the vanguards of the lunch revolution, wasn't it? <laughs> so, what is it now? You a protector of Earth's peace? W well uh none of your business. Huh? So kind. Chie is surprised. Oh, uh, I didn't mean that in a mean way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you know, just looking out for my team. I'm Takeshi Kouno. Uh, I was with Chie up until middle school. I'm not gonna get in you guys' way. Uh, wait! Hey, what are you... Oh, uh, how's Yukiko-san doing? Does she have a boyfriend yet? No, not yet, evil glare. <laughs> She's fine, and I don't think so. I see. Cool, 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 cool. She's still good looking. Maybe I should try for her again. Jeez. Oh, oh no. I'll see you later. Say hi to Yukiko-san for me. No, 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 no. This is exactly what Chie does not like. We heard it from her shadow. Chie looks somewhat sad to see Takeshi leave. What should you do? Um... Oh, Chie's hand. Let's... Let's try cracking a, a joke. Rather than bad mouthing him. You pulled out your best joke. You showed Chie your impression of a different Takeshi. <laughs> what did I say? Like, hey, you're not part of the, uh... Justice League yet there, Chie? Is that uh, what you're saving up for when you get to university? <laughs> what? Was that supposed to sound like him? Chie is laughing hysterically. Oh, good. Well, at least she's a bit happier. Uh, I'm sorry. He really is rude, huh? Seriously? He was always staring at Yukiko. Hey, hey, don't get me wrong. He's nothing but an old classmate to me. We're just friends, you know? We used to get that a lot, though. Oh, I see. Chie smiles somewhat sadly. It's fine. I'm sure you could find someone much better than Takeshi. You felt that you learned something about Chie. I feel your relationship with Chie has grown deeper. Trust me, if he's just using you to get closer to Yukiko, well, he ain't gonna be worth it, sister. Rank 4 for Chie. The Chie Satanaka social link has reached level 4. Your power to create personas of the Chariot Icon has grown. Chie's growth of heart has affected her persona as well. She's got Ice Boost. That'll be helpful. Except she can't uh, learn any more skills. Let us get rid of... Hmm. Let's get rid of Skullcracker. We'll keep Assault Dive, I think. Even though we have a slight chance of panic with Skullcracker. I mean, they both deal Light Fizz. Oh, it's tough. Let's get rid of Rebellion. It's not often that I try and count on a critical attack. Maybe I should. Especially when it comes to taking down the treasure uh, gloves. That's fine. I can always use a skill card on myself. Ice Boost has replaced Rebellion. But that's all in the past. Let's head home. Okay, if you say so, Chie. See you later. You talked with Chie about various things while walking home. Welcome back. Thank you, Dojima. I was planning on hanging out with Nanako tonight, but I guess that isn't going to be happening. You're here. Uh, well, might as well. Hang on, let's check the fridge. Nothing catches my eye. I need to make a habit about just checking the fridge every day, making sure. Hmm? What's up? You told Dojima about your night job. What? You're working part-time in the evenings? Hey, I'm, I'm your guardian, you know. Do you think I'm going to allow you to do something like this? <laughs> you should. I mean, you know, it's good, honest work. You seem rather composed about it. Well, 
You can probably get away with it because you have no intention of doing anything bad. Sheesh. Alright, I'll allow it. I believe you. It's better than having you sneaking around behind my back. But even though this is a small town in the countryside, it's a lot of chances to get into trouble. Watch out. It's a promise. Got it? It's a promise. Wait, does that mean I can actually leave the house now? I can! He won't let me see more Oka at night, but he'll let me go to work. <laughs> go to work. Where will you go? Not work. Except there's hardly anyone in town. The drunkards are still here, though. Never mind. Looks like they didn't even need me whatsoever. So I got some time to kill. Hey! So, what's wrong? Bored? Does he have Anzu? Our relationship's gonna become closer soon. Yes, let's spend some time together. Ah. You that bored? <laughs> well, have a seat. Dojima sighs, but he looks a bit happy. Probably because I'm staying home tonight. Hey. I was just thinking of making some coffee. All we've got is instant, though. But how do you take it? Coffee at night, Dojima? We come on, this is not good for our sleep. Um, uh, <laughs> surprise me. Uh, I myself take it black these days, trying to keep the weight off. Let's just say... Ooh, let's say black, so we could relate to Dojima. I'm guessing he drinks huh. black as well. Yeah, there we go. Just like me. The easiest kind to make. Dojima's smiling. Dad! The news is starting. Oh, coffee. Can I have some? You don't want coffee. It tastes all bitter and yuck when you're a kid. Come on, Nanako, get some hot chocolate. Or Milo or something. Sure thing. Plenty of sugar and cream, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's how I used to take it as a kid. I remember my mother or whoever was serving me coffee would be like, how much sugar? And I'd be like, four. Four teaspoons. <laughs> and they'd be like, what the... F you just have a hot chocolate then. Go watch TV with Nanako. I'll bring it to you when it's ready. Uh, you don't have to do that. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's okay. Making the coffee is my only job around here. Tojima is smiling gently. Ah, huh, well, that's nice then. When I got married, her mother made me promise one thing. She said this is all I have to do around the house. But nobody else can do it. So, well, you know, it's habit now. Dojima looks a bit embarrassed. He saw an unexpected side of Dojima and grew closer to him. Alright, we're coffee buddies now. Cool, cool. We're making progress on quite a few social links. Dojima is now rank 4. This is the only promise I can really keep these days. Well, anyway. Let's sit over there. You watch TV together. And now, our next story. On the outskirts of Okina today, a woman bicyclist was hit by a car and died on the scene. Great. <laughs> That's... Not a go turn the TV off. Just what I need on my Saturday night. Oh, okay. Come on, Nanako, you don't want to watch that. Surely there's something light-hearted. Okay. <laughs> So Jima's back to just doing the crossword on the newspaper then. Nanako, you okay? Um... It was because they showed a story about a traffic accident. Oh, I see. Mom died in an accident. <sighs> I don't remember it. And Dad won't talk about it. Nanako looks lonely. Oh, well, hey. We're coffee buddies too, you know. You watch some more TV with Nanako before going to your room. Poor girl. I see. So, Mrs. Dojima passed away in a traffic accident. You have the day off from school today. All you can do is wait for Kanji's recovery. Come on, Kanji, I thought you were a tough guy. The popular home shopping program is about to begin. Oh, there we go. We get the prompt to watch it rather than having to actually go after it ourselves. You've never seen this show before. This must be the shopping program you'd heard about. This tune is familiar. <laughs> Tanaka's Amazing Commodities airs every Sunday and continues for the next three days. Whatever you purchase will be delivered in a few days. Hello, everyone! Welcome to Tanaka's Amazing Commodities! Uh, granter of your desires. This is Tanaka's Amazing Commodities, the mail-order television program being broadcasted live to you. We guarantee your purchase will meet your satisfaction for a fair market price. Now let's introduce the products that will be on sale for the next three days. Adios Shoes! This is a limited edition pair of high quality shoes. 
But wait, there's more. I'll add two slimming foods to the Adios shoes. All this for only 5,980 yen. We've got another fantastic product on sale today. One medical kit. It's very helpful in emergencies. I would certainly hope so. It's called a medical kit. What could I do to sweeten this part for you? Ooh, I know. For this one, I'll add four medicines. That's right, four medicines. One, two, three, four to your medical kit for 2,980 yen. These deals are so popular. We're only allowing one order per person. Which would you like to purchase today? You can only buy one of the products offered. You currently have 40k. Adios shoes combo for 590 yen or medical kit combo for 2,980 yen. Which one will you purchase? I mean, we've already got a bunch of shoes for Chie. She's gonna feel spoiled if I keep buying some more. Um, I don't really need an emergency kit though. I'm just gonna go for the Adios shoes. You know, Chie is feeling a bit down. She feels like she's being looked past at, uh, and Yukiko is in the frame, at least with Tak Takeshi. You bought the Adio shoes combo, including Adio shoes and slimming food times two. Wow, we've sold through our entire stock. Thank you all so much for your participation in today's show. Today's sale is over, but we'll be back for another three days next Sunday on this very same channel. To all my loyal customers who got shut out today, I will see you next time. You hear the same song again. But if you sold out today, then what the heck is he going to do for the next couple of days? Piddling just nothing? Here comes Tanaka over the airwaves to you. The shopping program has ended. <laughs> you turned off the TV. Well, that was something. All right. Yeah, hello? Um, Let's go. Hello. If you're bored, want to do something with me and Daisuke today? Sound good? I'll pass. I see. Oh, okay. Uh, some other time then. Later. Go hung up. Yeah, you know, I gotta make my own choices. I appreciate you taking the initiative to wanting to hang out with me, but again, I, I make the final decision. All right, I run this town. Looks like our plants are ready to harvest. The vegetables we planted look ready to be harvested. What will you do? We might as well harvest it since it's, uh, it doesn't cost us any time. Are you going to gather the veggies? I'll go too. Nice to do it during the daytime for a change. They look yummy. I want to help harvest too. Yep, let's do it. We've got veggies. Do you think we can grow even more? Harvested two return daikon. Even though there was more than two in that plot. What seedling will you plant? Tomato seedling. I'm gonna need some more seedlings. Come on, grow! I want some delicious veggies. I suppose uh, the other <laughs> uh, vegetables went to Nanako. Can't be claiming all of them. You planted tomato seedling. I'm excited! Good. Alright, and with that, you enjoy your uh, Phoenix Rangers? Yes, Nanako for permission and change the channels of the forecast. Uh, rain is coming up at the end of this week. Good to know. Are you going out? I can watch the house. All right. See you later. Take care. Ah, hello. I'm just the woman I was hoping to find. Well, hey there. You need some seedlings for your garden? These are the ones I have right now. Which kind do you want? Uh, both, please. 500 yen for one. Please and thank you and tomato seedlings. Cheers is have fun. Now, oh, doggy, you're still here out in the floodplains. Seems the dog is still aware of you. What should you do? Again, let's just talk to it gently. It seems the dog has became less wary of you. It ran away again. The dog ran away. You should look for it on another day. Do I just am I just doing something wrong? Do I need to change it up a bit? Or something, maybe I should try singing to it next time. Well, unlike Yosuke, I don't think I've got any other opportunities to advance my bond with Marie. So I might as well at least try and spend some time with her today and get ourselves ready to advance to the next level. Huh? Oh, you're here. Hey, I have somewhere I want to go today. It seems Marie wants to go somewhere. I have Amino Uzume, but my relationship won't deepen just yet. Let's spend the day with her. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Marie looks happy. Hurry, let's go. Take me out. You decided to take Marie out. Where are we off to? Some more steak? Central Shopping District, Sozai Daigaku. Spend some time having fun with Marie. I feel your relationship with her is going to become closer soon. Good. And there's our You're one back. day off a week gone. I am home. So are you. 
Let's, uh, let's have a look around town. Well, we've got a few people hanging around town, but I think tonight let's just stay inside. It is Sunday night after all. Let's hang out with uh, good old Daddy Dojima. Hmm? Dojima's busily turning the newspaper pages. You thought about asking about Nanako's mother, but you doubt you can get anything out of him until your expression is at the persuasive level. Ah, cool. Once again, I am shut down because of my social stats. I really need to get working on them better. All right, well, let's, uh, let's think of something. Well, in terms of books, I've got The Gentle Way, which increases knowledge and expression, but there's four chapters to it. I guess I should get started. Let's go. It was a quest item that we gathered from uh, the avid book reader, so... Let's spend some time making use of it. You begin reading The Gentle Way. Various judo techniques are described here, along with the origins of their names and other judo trivia. You don't feel any stronger, but you feel that you could teach these forms to someone. There's still some pages of The Gentle Way left. You decide to save them to read next time. Some pages. There's the entire book left. Monday the 30th. Alright. Hit me. How many people want to hang out with me this Arvo? Chie? Yo! What you doing? Just waiting for the usual peeps to approach me. Hey, if you have some free time after school, do you want to hang out with me? You think about it, okay? Maybe you should hang out with Chie after school. Thank you for letting me know that if people approach me during lunchtime, they're probably ready to level up. Looks like it's just Chie at this point. So, Kanji Tatsumi is still absent on account of illness. Sounds like a load of bullshit to me. I bet he's out there dicking around all day long. What? What's with your faces? You trying to tell me I shouldn't assume things? Don't tell me you're friends with that punk. All right, listen to these words. Aristotle said, a true friend is one soul in two bodies. You better watch who you hang out with. You'll only bring your own worth down. Yeah, well, I'm looking at my teacher right now, and my stock has definitely plummeted. Though I doubt the trash of society would even have friends like you. You listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge is increased. <laughs> well, Moroka is good for something, I guess. He increases my knowledge now and then. Classes have ended for today. You're waiting for Kanji to recover. Hmm. Come on, doggy. I need you to calm down. Talk to it gently. Probably should have switched it out. Seems the dog became less wary of you. Mm, the dog isn't trying to run away. It seems to like you. But it seems to be out of energy. Perhaps it's hungry. If you gave it something a dog would eat, it may become energetic again. But you don't have anything like that. Chie, I need some meat gum again. Hey, you know what I can feed a dog, perchance? Boy, you sure are a healthy young man. Must be nice, having all that youth. You just keep running around like you do, Sonny. You'll always be able to stop and stand around later. Leave smelling the roses to when you get to my age. <laughs> if you say so. Oh, Adachi is here as well. I haven't actually hung out with him yet. Mainly because I don't have a jester persona. But uh, I should definitely get started hanging out with Adachi. I actually just came here looking for some dog food. Young detective who comes by here all the time. Looks like he eats his veggies. Though I do wonder why he keeps buying cabbage. Does he? You'd better eat your veggies too if you want to grow up nice and strong. Adachi buying a lot of cabbage? The heck for? Adachi eats his, eats his veggies. Pfft. He's like the laziest guy I know, besides lazy student and tardy student. People around here are very friendly, aren't they? Then again, so are you. If I go to Juness, my neighbors all come out and talk about what I did there and what I bought and so on. But it's not so bad. Being friendly is a good thing, isn't it? Sure is. I feel the carrot rather than the stick approach definitely helps you out during life. Less stress. That store has a gashapon gash machine, but it only works on rainy days for some oddball reason. That's one of this town's seven mysteries, apparently. <laughs> this stuff only happens in the country, huh? It sure does. I know, why don't we try Animal Lover? She should know. Hey, do you like animals? I sure do. Do you have any dog food on you? I like them. Damn it. GA, need your help. Yo! What you doing? It seems GA isn't busy, but uh, she wants to hang out. I'm keen, but I really need to get this dog food first. It's Soze Daikaku. Welcome, our food is freshly made and tastes incredibly great. Uh, I might as well just buy everything up here. Surely dogs like meat, right? That's sold out. Rainy days. What about grilled steak croquette? It's 150 yen. I like the combination of diced meat and potato. 
Uh, yes, I'll have one, please. I think you have a nice day. Um, and I'll take a steak skewer as well while we're at it. Our steak skewer is 320 yen. This is our signature dish here. It tastes the best. You currently have 32, 8, 35 yen. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thanks. All right, let's see if this works. Doggo. I've got some food for you. Shit. It's gone. Damn it. Oh, well. I mean, hopefully this works if I see it again. Otherwise, I'm going to need to keep talking to people. Hmm. Maybe the cat scared it off. Damn cat. Chew. All right, yeah, I was going to hang out with uh, Yukiko, but... I figured that might just make you sad, uh, considering what we went through the last time we hung out, so... Yo! Today, let's just chill out with Chie and Train. Yo, Sokun, what you doing? Uh, my relationship's going to become closer soon, that's good. Will you spend the afternoon with Chie? Yes. Then you want to train? Yeah, let's go! Chie looks happy. You decide to go eat with Chie after training. Central Shopping District, Chinese Diner Aya. Delicious! Mm, the meat and rice just flow through my veins! Uh, you look so happy. <laughs> On the happiness scale, it's up there with watching action movies. Chie drifts into a blissful reverie. Well, that's good. I'm glad you can have so much enjoyment from just eating. I need to work hard and pump myself up, or else I can't pull us out of a jam, right? Especially Yukiko. I need to be able to protect her. Hmm... I hope she's not straining herself. Makes you worry, huh? Uh... Hmm... Let's keep the focus on Chie for now. Oh, but then she might just get embarrassed if I say I worry more for you. Ooh, what do I choose? I'll look out for her. Let's... Let's just say Yukiko isn't that weak. Yukiko isn't that weak. Hmm... You think? Chie doesn't seem fully convinced. Well, I'll take the notes. <laughs> I'll make myself stronger. For Yukiko, too. So keep it up, leader. I know me and Yosuke joke around with you a lot, but we're all counting on you. <laughs> you can sense Chie's burning passion. You feel your relationship with Chie has grown yet deeper. Oh, nice. I count on you guys, too, you know. That's why I'm hanging out with you guys a lot. Trying to get our social links up. Rank 5 for Chie. The Chie Satanaka social link has reached level 5. Chie's determination in battle has been enhanced. She can now cure se severe ailments during battle. All this talking is making me hungry. Excuse me. Another fried rice with meat, please. <laughs> How about you? Uh, I I'm good. You talk with Chie for a while. If you can't finish yours, I'll eat it, okay? But uh, just don't get depressed. Like last time when... Yes, can I ate all your soba. See you later. You walked home partway with Chie. Welcome home. Thanks, Nanako. How about tonight? Can we actually hang out with you hey, tonight? Hey, bro. This is a different uh, start of dialogue, so I'm guessing yes. Why do people die? Uh, why you gotta ask me these tough questions after school? Is Nanako talking about her mother, who died in an accident? Nanako is looking straight at you. With your current level of expression, you wouldn't be able to explain it to Nanako. You should wait until you reach persuasive before attempting to answer her questions. Good idea. Um, okay, so both Dojimas, we can't advance until we up our expression. Goodness. All right. Uh, well, let's hit the town up then after we check the fridge. You open the fridge. There's a bottle of milk that's past its expiration date. Uh, <laughs> drink it. Nope, I'm good for now at the very least. Oh, scary ladies here. What fish do you want now? I came to offer my fuda to celebrate my child's third birthday. Um, different birthdays? But as I was praying, a cat took the fish I had. Do you have any amber sima you could spare? No, I don't have that fish. But uh, a cat took it? Really? Jeez. It's tough to please, that woman. All right, let's keep plowing through that book. I wish there was a speed reader book. I don't know if there is one or not, but uh, for now, let's just keep... Uh, reading the gentle way. You decided to continue reading the gentle way. Good, good, good. There's still some pages left. Of course there is. Tuesday. Rain is coming in soon. Alright. My time is precious. 
Chie again. Yo! What you doing? Hey, if you've got some free time after school, why don't we hang out? Think about it, alright? Maybe you should hang out with Chie after school. Maybe. There you are. Come on. Ooh. The dog isn't trying to run away. It seems to like you, but it seems to be out of energy. Perhaps it's hungry. If you gave it something a dog would eat, it may become energetic again. Oh! Yes! Oh, both of them! Okay, uh, let's try the... Steak skewer. You gave it a steak skewer. Oh, oh. The dog looks happy. Good. Does that mean it's gone home? The dog ran away energetically. It should be able to return to its owner's house now. You accomplished the request written on the Emma. You should report back to the fox. Done. And dusted. Whew. It's a hard life solving this town's problems. Sorry, G8. Looks like I'm spending the afternoon with the fox. Call the fox. He made sure there was no one around and called for the fox. What do I do? Do I just, like, tell him to clear out of the shrine? Go away! The shrine is cursed! Shoo! The fox brought you the ammo with the wish that you fulfilled. It's probably worried about the outcome. You told the fox that you granted the wish written on the Emma. Fox looks exuberant. I still don't know if that's the right word to describe it, the fox looking exuberant. Shouldn't it be, like, you know, ecstatic or something? The fox looks at the offertory box and seems pleased. If rumors of the shrine's benevolence spread, more people may come to make offerings. That just means the tasks are going to get harder and harder. They're going to start wishing for more and more ridiculous things. You can sense the fox's gratitude. Okay. Rank 4 for Fox. And we're about to enter June tomorrow as well. Goodness. The power to create personas of the Hermit Arcana has grown. I haven't, like, hung out with any of my club friends. <laughs> Since your relationship with the fox has grown stronger, give you a discount on its services inside the TV. Pass some time with the fox. It's getting late. You decide to go home. You're back. I am. I went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. Good, good, good. Uh... Hmm. Well, we can still head out, right? Alright, come on, let's really push to get the gentle way complete. I could really use the increase in expression and knowledge. I feel like we've been reading on judo techniques this entire week. Just two chapters left to go, one now. As we cross over into June, oh my gosh, two months have passed, time is flying. Passes have ended for today, you're waiting for Kaji to recover. So, you and Yosuke get along well. Is it because the two of you are from the city? Uh, that's right. <laughs> well, there are things that us country folk don't understand. Uh, okay, <laughs> I wasn't taking a dig at country folk, and now that you mention it, it's not because we're both city folk, we're just really good friends. We're partners! Heterosexual life partners. My friends laughed at me for being scared by so many things in life. Am I strange? You're a real weirdo. No, you're just normal. <laughs> really? I'm not strange? I see. <laughs> I'm a little relieved now. I'm not going to be afraid of being scared. Good. Own it! Jeez, people calling you weird because you're scared of so many things? Who cares? You're yourself. <sighs> Finally in the same class as that girl. And I haven't been able to talk to her once. Damn it. Even if I could just lend her my chair or something. But there's more chairs than people in class. I'm going to have to rely on special occasions since it's come to this. School camps in June, summer vacation in July and August, school trips in September, festivals in October. Every month I'll have one event and one chance to talk to her. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm getting all fired up now. Um, okay, well, how about you just succeed in talking with her at one event and then talk to her like a normal person the rest of the year? It's not like you have to make it a once in a month thing to talk with her. Goodness. These guys, man. We need to educate everyone. Biker gangs? There sure are a lot of people who have nothing better to do than make trouble. Well, if they don't bother me, I don't really care. Even if they're noisy, I can still sleep through it. Okay, then. I guess I'll go home. School's a lot more irritating than any biker gang, anyway. Huh? What am I gonna do about an umbrella? Uh, I guess I'll just wait here. Looks like it's going to keep raining. Damn it, and I left my umbrella at home. Uh, it's overcast right now. I'm sure you could quickly escape to your home. Unless, uh, the biker gangs are giving you grief. I haven't heard much talk about the biker gangs lately, even though they're obviously still around. Once the news reports have exhausted their coverage on them, they move everyone on to the next big story. They're all just pawns in the media. I can't even express my disdain for people like that. 
that's the big media machine for you. It's all about clicks. Follow one tragedy to the next. If it bleeds, it leads and all that. <laughs> hey, listen to this. The s senpai spoke to me. I remember the words exactly. You're always here at the library, aren't you? You seem very determined. I couldn't believe it. I wanted to respond, but my, 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 my voice wouldn't come out. What should I do? It's so amazing. I think I may have dreamt it. Uh, hey, good for you. You're making progress. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see what I can do to make sure we meet again tomorrow. Just go into the library, I suppose, if he's always in there. Okay, time to take on the next Emma, whatever it may be. Hopefully it's still something doable. This is the shrine's main building, what will you do? Accept the Emma's request. Made sure there was no one around and called for the fox. Like, what if they start asking for treasure or a mansion or something? The fox brought you an Emma with a wish, wish written on it. It's written in large, uneven letters, probably by a child. God, please give me some friends. Yoshitaka. Oh, it seems the fox wants you to fulfill the wish written on the Emma on its behalf. Could it be thinking that if wishes are fulfilled, the more money will be put into the offertory box. If you fulfill the wish on the Emma, your relationship with the fox may grow stronger. Accept the request. Yes, I wish I had friends. The fox seems happy. Okay, sure. Let me just summon some friends. Okay, well, hopefully it's not one of the kids at the daycare center. Okay, well, here he is in the floodplain. What? what? I don't have any money. Oh, oh, then never mind. <laughs> I don't want your money. Some of these alternate choices are always just the way the tone comes across. I don't want your money. You're not here for anything else then, right? I don't have any friends. So nobody ever wants to talk to me. The boy seems sad. Oh, can, I, I can be your friend. Will, will that count as fulfilling your wish? I mean, I'm the best friend you could have in this town. He said he doesn't have any friends. Perhaps he's the one who wrote the Emma request the fox showed you. Everyone talks about things I don't know about. Right now they're all collecting stickers. I have a sticker too, but they all said everyone has that one. Well, geez, that's not very inclusive of them. If it's a hobby, you should definitely welcome new people aboard, right? You shouldn't gatekeep your hobbies. I think that's always kind of a dumb thing to do. Like, it's isn't it always better to have more people joining your hobby so you can talk with them about it? I don't know. That's what I always thought anyway. If I had a rare sticker, I bet that'd become my friends. The boy wants a rare sticker so he can make friends. Uh, I don't know if the sticker's going to make you some genuine friends. I suppose it'll get your foot in the door then. Hmm, stickers. Where do I get stickers from? Before I went to work, I met this charming man, but I couldn't betray my boyfriend. But you know, you can't stop your heart from fluttering. What do you think I should do? It's not a good idea, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. It'd be wrong to do that to my boyfriend. Yeah. You're in a committed relationship, lady. Never cheat. There have been a lot of young single mothers coming to Inaba from the city. Did you know? Maybe you didn't. Dojima-san never showed you around the neighborhood, did he? A lot of people have been moving in lately. But they're not all people I'd want to associate with. They don't care about their new families. I guess everything I've heard about second wives is true. Quit gossiping about other people. Have some manners. Ah, but everyone knows already, don't they? I was watching the news again a while ago. There was a segment on cooking. It was pretty interesting. It was about what kinds of meals you can make if you don't have a lot of time. They suggested grilling meat. One guy tried marinating his steak with vinegar. The face he made was rather amusing. He looked like he'd just bit down on an old gym sock or something. Now that I think about the weather, after tomorrow there's going to be another two or three days of rain. Around here the rain is usually followed by fog, so be careful. Thank you on that uh, news update. I saw a biker gang on the highway a while back. They were racing their motorcycles in the middle of the night. Seeing as I aim to become the motorcycle racing king of Inaba, the glimpse of the wild side they presented was fascinating. Don't you think a man should be dignified even when riding a motorcycle? Yeah, I agree. Right? The manly music of exhaust noise is seriously cool. Yeah, totally. Especially if you uh, rev the engine in harmony. You've got to have a strong personality to find love, senpai. You need diligence, understanding, and courage. I mean it. Love depends on all of those things. In order to have charm, you have a, you need a touch of romance. And in order to maintain a romance, you got to turn on the charm. That's something we can all aspire to. Me and my friends were playing board games at lunch today. <laughs> I'm pretty good. I think I get my skills from my grandma. 
I've got a trick to rolling the dice. But don't tell anyone, okay? <laughs> okay, sure. The trick to rolling the dice. Oh, Miko! Listen, I was rejected from my job interview. Uh, seriously? They said I didn't have enough diligence or something. It's unbelievable. There were a lot of cute guys there, too. And now my chances to meet them are blown to hell. Oh, this sucks so much. <laughs> yes, that's why we get jobs. Because we want to meet with people and have workplace relations. Have you ever called a radio station and requested a song before? I like doing it because you can request older songs, live recordings, and a whole bunch of other stuff. TV stations need images and props, but all a radio station needs is the music. This simplicity makes radio a richer form of media than television. Uh, no, because television you can record and watch any time. Not many people come here, so I find it a relaxing place to hang out. There are a few scary people who talk really loud, though. Oh, depressed student, are you okay? You're just chilling over here in the corner. That's no good. You, you need uh, someone to talk to, perchance? Here's kind of an odd question. Has anyone ever randomly decided to give you a plastic model? <laughs> nope, never. Oh, okay, good. Nobody would be that weird, right? I suppose not. What if I said yes? Oh, Dad! <laughs> When you like a girl, I think the hardest part is making her like you back. I say the most important thing is to not let stuff get complicated, and just tell her how you feel. Tell her straight. Seal the date. Yeah, I mean, that's what you're supposed to do, but it's easier said than done a lot of the time. At least it was for me, back in the day. Thankfully I don't have to worry about that anymore. He's being an ass again. Not that I'm unhappy though, I was really glad when he asked me out. I just want to be told that I'll always be treasured. You know, words that have value. But I guess that's just my girlish ideals talking. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. There's this girl from my class and she will just not shut up. She's always going on and on about so-and-so from the soccer club and Coach Chan from the basketball club. What an idiot. If she has all that time to watch club activities, then she should use that time to study. <laughs> I may know who you're talking about. Not quite sure though. Well, I've asked everyone around town about stickers and haven't really gotten anywhere. So, I'm just gonna call it for today and maybe just hang out with Marie. Huh? Oh, you're here. Come on, let's go somewhere. Seems Marie wants to go out since you have Amino Uzume. My relationship will deepen, that's always good. Let's do it. Let's go. Marie looks happy. I want to go to the big city this time. I heard there was a bunch of things to do there. So take me? The closest thing to a big city is near Inaba, is Okina City. You decided to take Marie to Okina City. Alright. Okina City, in front of Okina Station. You brought Marie here by train to satisfy her curiosity. Alright, we're here. Oh. Let's go now. This is So this is the big city. Hmm. Weird. It's a funny place. Wide yet narrow. It's gray and full of squares. Hey, what do you do in the city? Uh... Uh, you play around, <laughs> I suppose. Oh. Hmm. Do you play a lot? Then you must be a playboy. I mean, you're not wrong about me being a playboy, but no, uh, it's not because I play a lot. <laughs> so that's why you only come see me once in a while, huh? You suck, I hate you, loser. Why don't you think about me sometime, huh? I just stand there waiting. Well, we weren't advancing our relationship anytime soon until I hung out with you that other day. So that's kind of why I put you off a little bit. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that out loud. Marie pouts. Oh, Chie and Yukiko. Huh? huh? Sokun? Oh, and Marie-chan. Uh, hello. Uh, um, is she your friend? She is. I hope you're not jealous there, Yukiko. Oh, that's right. You haven't met her before, huh? She's Marie-chan. I had lunch with her once. Oh yeah, this is Yukiko Amagi. She's our friend. Friend. If she's someone you know, th then she must not be from around here, right? Did she come from the big city? Ah, oh, I get it. So that's why you're here in Okina City, huh? There's diddly squat to do around where we live, right? Yeah, I know. And a red one today. <laughs> yeah, we're all color-coded. What are green and red doing here? Hmm? 
green and red? Green and red? Uh, <laughs> I was wearing green last time I saw you, wasn't I? I didn't say it was bad. You look good in those colors. <laughs> oh, uh, th thanks. I didn't think it was a compliment. <laughs> She's a nice girl. There's no doubt about that. B but red girls is all red. Does green girl always wear the same thing all the time? <laughs> yes. To the point as ever. But she's right. Hey, well, Marie, you got those uh, prison socks, you know? <laughs> nope. That's not what I meant. It's just... It's a waste. Humans can change their clothes, right? You should try wearing other colors. Is that so? I don't really pick out my own outfits. Yeah, that's kind of my job <laughs> in the dungeons anyway. I know. We were just on our way to get some new clothes. Why don't you come with us, Sokun? Uh, what, to the, the female apparel department? And you guys were getting new clothes, seriously? You too, Marie-chan. Chie? They might already have plans of their own. Don't just assume they can come along at a moment's notice. Uh, if you want to. Uh huh? I don't mind. All right then, let's get going. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll just see. I'm a playboy. Told ya. Okina Station, Croco Fur. Chia and Yukiko are having fun while looking for clothes. Come on! Hey, how's this shirt? Don't you think it's a good color? Is it green? I don't know what shirt colors you wear because you always have your green sweater on. Chia is holding a green shirt. Well, what a surprise. Uh, hmm. I think it's good. Yeah, but it's also green. Oh. Huh? Whoa, you're right! Why do I keep buying myself green clothes? <laughs> Marie-chan, what's your favorite color? Don't tell me. Blue, right? Uh, I don't really have one. Hey. What do you think of this skirt? Is it too mature for me? Yukiko has a crimson skirt in her hands. I mean, she doesn't have red skirts on. Uh, that's an eye-catching color. Is that what I should say? Let's do it. It is eye-catchingly red. Man, I'm not getting much notes here. Damn it, I'm gonna need to spend some time uh, with with Marie again before I can advance. I see. So wearing a single color isn't in? I like to keep things simple. Yes! Thank you. I'll try exploring. Away with simplicity. Oh, well, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think oh! I'm contributing much value to your to your shopping here, girls. What about this? Does this say me? Are you look at those green shoes. Green again. Hey. How about this one? Away with simplicity. There's too many colors. I'm getting dizzy. This skirt's cute. It would go well with... How's this? Chie selects a yellow shirt and blue skirt. Oh, wow. At least that's not green. Wait, but yellow and blue make green, right? I was about to say. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're right. Maybe it's some kind of instinct? You're not doing it on purpose? <laughs> Are you sure? Chie and Yukiko finish their shopping and return to the station with you. Where's your where's your bags? <laughs> why were there why were they only out of stuff in my size? It can't be helped. Let's go back sometime later. They might have some new inventory by then. Yeah, change in season. Why don't we all go together then? The four of us. <laughs> if you want to. 
I'm just gonna Why? keep deferring it to Marie. If you want to, I'll just tag along. Huh? Me too? Why? Huh? Uh, why? Because we're friends? Really? Friends? We are? Since when? Oh gosh. Wait, did you have fun? W was I bothering you today? And last time too? Huh? No, you weren't bothering me. I was just asking about why you said friends. What does it m mean to become friends? Marie has questions. Oh gosh. Well, and we need to answer them. Hmm. Well, I don't really know the meaning of friendship. Hmm. Uh, there's meaning. There's meaning. I won't say she'll know when she has one. Hmm. Yes, I believe there is meaning. There are things you can't do by yourself that you can do together with others. Like today, we had you to help us choose our clothes. There you go, that's what friendship's all about. Helping your friends make choices. Especially when it comes to clothing. I don't get it. After all. Oh, I almost forgot! There's a DVD I wanted! Let's hurry, it'll sell out! There'll be a sellout of DVDs? It's a kung fu movie, right? I doubt it will sell out. Enough talk! Come on, everybody! Hustle! <laughs> okay. There she goes. Huh? Me too. Uh, let's hurry. I don't get it. It's not like I don't want to go, though. Remy seems perplexed, but not against the idea. Finally, some notes. Hey. <laughs> the ass end of this <laughs> whole, like, encounter. Hey, those two are Persona users, right? They're chasing after the truth with you, huh? You can't do that on your own, but you can do it together? Because you're friends? Yeah, we're an investigation team, not an investigation solo. I do need their help. Need to bounce ideas off and whatnot. And, well... Things are just cooler when you're part of a team. It seems Marie is wondering about what Yokiko said. I feel like you understand Marie a bit more now. There we go. Whew, rank 3 for Marie. The Marie social link has reached level 3. Your power to create personas of the Aeon Arcana has grown. Hey! Pick it up, you two! Move, move, move! Let's go. Maybe we just steal the spike beside me? Nope, we'll walk. Okay. Yeah, we're walking real fast there. After looking around Okina City with everyone, you escort Marie back to the Velvet Room. You're back. So, you're home. There was a delivery for you. I left it on the table. It's the Adi Adios Shoes combo you purchased on TV. I keep wanting to say Adidas. <laughs> obtained Adios Shoes and Slimming Food. In addition, you obtained a bonus prize sticker. Is that what I need? To give to the kid? Hmm. Well, I can't uh, advance my social links with either of these folks. Hey! Hey, so. I was just thinking of taking Nanako out to Juness. Oh, you can take her out in the middle of the night, but I can't. You want to come along? Ooh. Uh, I'd love to, but... Uh, I see. Yeah, I've, I've already... Um, I've already reached the threshold required to advance our relationship, so... I don't want to say out loud that it's going to be a waste of time. Let's just say that there's more productive things I could be doing. Then it'll just be the two of us. That's fine. Uh, I think you two need some bonding time anyway. Uh, let's check out what's going on out in town. Right, well, our brief run of rain starts tomorrow, so I think that would probably be our best chance to finish the book. So tonight, I think let's just work on our translator job and get our expression up a little bit, huh? Translate. You decided to work on translating. You had a hard time translating expressions in the foreign language. Your expression has increased. You're having a hard time understanding this particular sentence. Uh, read the passage again. No, skip it and come back later because your subconscious will work on it while we're, you know, translating everything else. You continue reading even though you didn't understand what was just said. You suddenly grasp the meaning through the context. You're in the groove now. See, what did I say? You earn 6,000 yen from your translating job. That's typically what I do if I'm stuck on something. I just, uh cast it aside and see if I can come up with a solution when I come back to it. Cause of ended for today, you're waiting for Kanji to recover. 
It's raining. It's begun. Such a lonely shopping district, isn't it? It's been like this since they built that megastore outside town a few years back. But lately, it's been noisy here, too. I understand that everyone is afraid of the murderer, but... It seems they're actually excited, having something big and fresh to chat about. <laughs> Am I overthinking it? Yeah, I suppose. I don't know. Talking about the killer like that, it's not the same as, you know, discussing a killer on a soap opera or something. There's an actual killer in your town taking out people you know. Uh, yeah, I find that a bit creepy to talk about. Another poem lying on the ground. Something is different. Murray is nowhere to be found. Huh? There's another piece of paper on the floor. Something is written on it in powerful strokes. Wow. Where am I going, you ask? Don't ask stupid questions. I don't need a map. I throw away my compass. My heart will show me the way. I walk by myself. Am I not lonely, you ask? Yeah, right. I scorn the company of my own shadow. Uh -huh. Freedom. That is the rule. Why don't you try and hold me down? I will die magnificently in front of you. No one can break my wings. Well, wow, this is definitely a lot more verbose than their other ones. This must be another of Marie's poems, and she explicitly told us not to read them. Ah! Oh. What is this? D did you read that? You did it again? Why? W w what the hell is wrong with you? I told you not to read that stuff. That's my rule. I live here. My house. My rules. You honestly need to stop leaving it on the floor. I'm a curious child. I'm going to read it. I hate you, stupid rule breaker. You ca I can't believe this. Murray blushes. I don't understand. I remember putting it away. Oh, really? Then, uh, hmm, maybe Margaret's just being cheeky. Marie returns to her seat and fidgets restlessly. <laughs> right, well, I only came to, you know, summon a sun persona so I can hang out with Yumi today. Allow me to do just that. Hello, sorry I haven't attended practice hey! lately. Hey, Sokun, practice is today. You're going to come, right? Since you have Gusith, my relationship's going to come closer soon. Let's go to okay. drama club practice. Let's do our best. Yumi looks happy. At least she's not, you know, scornfully telling me off. Yasugami High Drama Club. You participated in the acting exercises. You thoroughly practice expressing a variety of emotions. Your expression has increased. Of course. Hey! <laughs> of course my expression increases at Drama Club. I should have uh, come here a bit more often then. Oh yes, yeah, Sokun. Have you heard that the drama club's going to be in the school concourse? I'm going to have the lead role this year. Can you help me with my part later? Sure. Yumi, your mother collapsed. Oh my. There was a call from the hospital? Huh? Oh, uh, what should I do? We're still... Uh, want me to come with you? Huh? Oh, n no, it's okay. I'm going... There she goes. Yumi ran out of the room. At least she wasn't, like, you know, dedicated to her craft or everything. Go see your mother. The hospital? I wonder what happened. I think we're all too worried to get any more practice in. Let's call it a day. Did Yumi go to the hospital? You decided to go see. Inaba Municipal Hospital Hallway. Hey, what's going on? What is he doing here? Why are you here with him? You didn't collapse? You lied to me! I can't believe this! Tell me what's going on! Yumi... He's the one who collapsed, not me. But I knew that you wouldn't come if I told you that. So yes, I did lie to you. I wanted you to see him. Mom... Do you think I want anything to do with that man? No. I know you've suffered a lot. I feel responsible for what happened, too. But, you see, it was his last request. He doesn't have much longer. That's why he wanted to see you. So what? I don't care if he lives or dies. He's a complete stranger. He's not my father. Mom, you and I, 
he abandoned us both. And now what? Now that he's on his deathbed, he expects us to forgive him? Kinda, yeah. I mean, being on your deathbed is a strange thing. Everything seems to wash away at that point in time, and you realize how stupid and pointless a lot of things, a lot of grudges you've kept all this time suddenly seem when you see the person about to depart for good, you know? Don't give me that crap! I've made up my mind. I'm going to stay by his side until he passes away. Letting him die all alone would be too cruel to think of. Yeah. Uh, are you stupid? No, you, you're not doing this. Yumi, I'm sorry. But it's what I want to do. Th then go ahead. It's not my problem. Hmm. Jeez. What a dramatic situation for a drama student. After all, I've been abandoned before. Uh, when did you get here? Were you listening to me? Yeah, I heard. No point in lying, hmm. I'm standing right here. You. Eavesdropping on people's private conversations? You're a real sicko. Uh, uh, Yumi seems at a loss. Uh-oh, probably not the brightest response then. Mom didn't collapse. When I got to the hospital, it turned out that the person in bed is the man who used to be my father. Used to be? He abandoned my mother and me about ten years ago. He found another woman. He's a dirty sleaze bag. And now he comes crawling back to his daughter because he's dying. Yeah, after getting dumped by his bimbo. Talk about shameless. <sighs> this sucks so much. I'd forgotten him after all this time. His name, his face, his very existence. I completely blocked him out. Even worse, Mom's going to look after him until he kicks the bucket. She's being stupid. How gullible can you get? He left her, understand? Now he's a hand-me-down from the other woman who dumped him when he got sick. They're both pathetic. Yumi, come on, there's no need to treat your mother like that. Goodness. You know, life is complicated, it's not black and white. Yeah, he abandoned you guys, but... He's dying right now, and your mother loved him once, and so did you. So... I think your emotions are just riding high right now. Yumi is trembling with anger. Uh... I'm inclined to not say anything just to not exasperate the situation, but I feel like it's my duty to comfort her. Shut up. What do you know about me? Yumi hangs her head. Well, I tried. I'm sorry. There we go. A little bit of a guilt trip. I'm sorry. I've calmed down. What are you even doing here? <laughs> All this? It must be hilarious to watch, huh? In some small way, you were able to help comfort Yumi. <laughs> After all that, somehow we comforted her. You feel that your relationship with Yumi has deepened slightly. Yeah, she hasn't defenestrated me out the window. I suppose that's a good outcome? <laughs> Rank 3 for Yumi. Yumi Oza Ozawa, social link has reached level 3. I'm going home. Let's walk together. Bye then. He walked home with Yumi. She seemed to be filled with gloom. Yeah, the rain's not helping. Welcome back. Thanks, Nanako. It is raining, and my expression's not good enough to speak with you. Nothing catches my eye in the fridge. Time to finish our book, then. Read. The Gentle Way. Yes. You decide to continue reading The Gentle Way. You don't feel any stronger. You read your book as the rain spatters against the window. Your knowledge has greatly increased. You've finished reading The Gentle Way. Your knowledge has significantly increased. Your knowledge has changed from informed to expert. Your expression has increased. Your expression has changed from eloquent to persuasive. There we are. Excellent. Friday the 3rd. Then we got Saturday. And then the fog. The rain doesn't seem to be letting up this morning. 
Cause if it ended for today, you're waiting for Kanji to recover. I like how just the constant rain in town, it's just an ominous feeling that you know, you need to get to the TV world quick if you haven't done so already. Because time is running out. Boy, it's really coming down today, huh? Too bad I still have to go to work. Well, maybe we won't have as many customers, and I'll be able to slack off a little. Probably will be. I mean, I don't have work because my daycare job doesn't operate on rainy days. The old guy who runs Daidara is pretty cool, don't you think, Senpai? Uh, yeah, he, he's great. He gives me weapons. <laughs> Isn't he, though? He's like the kind of guy you read about, a real free spirit. I hope I grow up to be just like him. But I wonder if I'd look as cool with sword scars. Oh, you've got another quest. Is it because I finished the, uh, the book that you gave me? Don't you think that there... That once something's written down in a book, it suddenly becomes more meaningful? Even I'm currently practicing something I read in a book a while ago. No, I can't do it at all. Uh, hey, you, can I ask you something? Accept the request. Thank you. Then my request is... I was walking along the river, and I saw the cutest little cat. Yeah, I know the one. Oops, I skipped past the last one. Damn it. My trigger finger is itchy. All the books say that you shouldn't feed feral animals, but... Oh, I know. Why don't you do it for me? Okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. I'll leave it to you then. Please feed the cat. Ah, because it's rainy, I should be able to get the super croquette, right? It's 100 yen. You're lucky that we have some left. It's probably because it's raining. I mean, Jesus. It sounds like you underprice it. No wonder you're always sold out. The ingredients are a secret, but I'm sure you'll love it. I'll take one. Thank you. Seize the moment as the achievement unlocked. Hmm, since our knowledge has increased, I came into the Velvet Room hoping to speak with Margaret, but now Igor's missing. What the heck is going on? Something is different from usual. You don't see Igor or Marie anywhere. Margaret, what have you done with them? Oh. Excuse me. Do you have any business here? Uh, yeah. I, I've got a key to this place. Surely I'm allowed to come and go as I please. Mm. As you can see, my master is currently away. If your errand isn't urgent, I regret to ask that you come back late. Uh, it's raining. The fog is about to come in. No, that won't do. This room is bound tightly to your fate. Nothing here happens without a reason. There must be meaning in our meeting here alone. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Thank you. I am Margaret. Yes? I am the one who rules over power, invited here after my predecessor's sudden disappearance. You may be the first person who has ever been welcomed here by someone other than my master. Really? The Velvet Room is inseparable from the heart of its invited guest. The shape of the room and its residence are selected by my master, based on the number of guests and their destiny. Shall we chat? I feel that is what I'm called to do. Okay, yeah, let's have a conversation. Why not break out the champagne? A faint smile appeared on Margaret's face. Her eyes have a hint of gentleness in them, unlike her normal gaze. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Margaret. There we are, another social link. How are we going to advance this one? Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond that brings thee closer to the truth. Is this Empress? Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Empress Arcana. I only recognized it because it's number three. Alrighty. Empress, that's uh, oddly fitting for Margaret. You have established the Margaret social link of the Empress Arcana. Excellent. It seems you have several social links already. Recurring meetings, recurring words. By deepening your understanding of one another, your bonds strengthen. But sometimes the heart is shaken more by a single action than a thousand words. Do you understand? Somewhat. <laughs> Today's meeting might be classified as that single action. I've decided. The strand of fate you follow Entangle me within it as well. Perhaps a new bond will be spun. There is something I have wanted to know, and you are the first guess I welcomed here. In light of today's meeting with my master absent... Hmm. I believe we are both special to one another. Oh, we are, are we? <laughs> Margaret is smiling. Jeez. 
If I had a dime every time I heard that. I want to know more about you. First, I think I shall have you show me your rare persona ability. Let me see. Show me an Ipon Daitara that knows Sukukaja. The heart is shaken more by a single action than by a thousand words. Have you already forgotten? No, you told me like two minutes ago. <laughs> then I have something to look forward to. I wish you well. Okay, thank you. Ipon Daitara. I've seen that, and I don't know if I've got a skill card for Sukukaja, but worth looking. I do not, probably by design. I might need to fuse it. Okay, that's fine. I'll do it at another time, though. For now, let's just keep looking around. Well, it is raining, and there's not a lot of people I can hang out with, if any. So let's head on over to Aya. This is the Chinese diner Aya. Aya seems to be having some kind of promotion today. The sign reads, Rainy Day Challenge, 3,000 yen Mega Beef Bowl. If you finish this quintuple size bowl, it's free. You feel taking on this challenge or this dish will help raise several characteristics. Currently I have 33k. Let's spend some time here. Whoa, I'm, I'm eating fast. Central Shopping District Chinese diner Aya. You accepted the Rainy Day Special Mega Beef Bowl Challenge. You still can't see the rice. You begin to suspect that your bowl is a portal to the meat dimension. The amount of meat contained within this bowl is truly staggering. How much meat could possibly be in that tiny bowl? In order to finish this bowl, you must have understanding of your limits, knowledge to control your pace, courage to face this unrelenting tide of beef, and the diligence to persevere against this colossal challenge. All these traits are necessary to master the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. You are unable, unable to finish your meal in your current state. You tried your best to finish the Rainy Day Special Mega Beef Bowl Challenge, and your personality has grown tremendously. Your knowledge has increased, your courage has increased, your diligence has increased. I, uh, too bad, mister. That'll be 3,000 yen. Come back soon. Thank you. Thank you for your continued patronage. Makes my daughter happy, too. I heard that you're popular at school. You seem... You certainly seem like a fine young man. My daughter just went out on a delivery. When she comes back, I'll tell her you dropped by. This guy really just shipping his daughter with me. After finishing your meal, you went home. You're back. I am home. But I don't have enough expression to talk with you, Dojima, only with Nanaka. So, hmm. Looks like our vegetables are ready to harvest at the very least, so let's go ahead and do that. Harvest the vegetables. Oh yeah, it's about time to harvest them, huh? All right, I'll give you a hand with that. Oh, I'll gather them too. In the rain. <laughs> they look good. Seriously, this is an impressive crop. The veggies are ready. Let's harvest them, big bro. Okay. Great vegetables. Thanks, Dojima. See what your hard work gets you? Let's do it again, big bro. Three tiny soul tomatoes. Since it's raining, we might as well just study, get that extra boost. Do you want to study? Yes. You decided to study. Your knowledge has increased. Since you had completely read expert study methods, you were able to study more efficiently. Your knowledge has increased. Saturday the 4th. Last day of rain. The rain doesn't seem to be letting up this morning. Classes have ended for today. Well, since it's raining, we can at least try and catch some Amber Sima. Uh, no one's around in town to hang out with. And now, the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. Mm -hmm. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. Is the killer just, like, you know, rubbing his hands together, licking his lips, excited to see his efforts come to fruition? Does he know that uh, Kanji is safe? It seems the fog will set in tonight. Hmm... Will we get another glimpse at him just walking through the shopping district? It's raining. You're not wrong. You need to return to your room and watch the Midnight Channel. Here we are, the moment of truth. It's midnight. We saved Kanji. Let's just hope that no one else was thrown in there without our knowledge. The fog has set in. Here we go. 
no one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Since Kanji has been rescued, it seems the killer was thwarted this time. <laughs> this time. Meanwhile, at the fog-shrouded shopping district. Still there. Again. Damn, man. You gotta get on your game. Not that I should be coaxing you into putting more effort into your efforts.